people who are struggling and have mental illness are not getting the care that they need, particularly in underserved areas. And the idea behind this is to try and expand care and deliver those services to those who are really in need. Pediatricians are facing a, a mental health crisis amongst um, the youth and this is probably not limited to the United States but we do have a shortage of child and adolescent psychiatrists. Um, so I, I, I'm not willing to say every single patient visit but the majority of patient visits um, there's some form of mental health issue, substance use, social issues, issues of poverty um, that are coming up and so I think having skills to deal with that both on the medicine side of things and also on the, the behavioral side of things too and troubleshooting with folks um, is a big part of what I do. Well it's hard being a primary care provider, it's hard being a primary care doc and the reason it's hard is because they're, they're asked to see more and more patients per day uh, and, and uh, it's, it's a struggle, it's hard and one of the difficulties is many of them don't have the background in, in behavioral health care delivery and a big chunk of their day is spent doing this so it's difficult, it's challenging. Uh, physicians do not really get any training or very minimal training in the residency program and so uh, the confidence that, that builds is really from the content that they learn and then having mem uh, mentoring sessions where they're able to talk through how they're going to implement this knowledge, um, that then increases the confidence. And one of the biggest things missing in medical education right now is mental health. And there's not a single patient that you interact with really that isn't dealing with some sort of like stress, especially with everything that's gone on these last few years. So there is a huge, um body of evidence, probably now over four or five decades, that if you treat the behavioral health of a population, you will improve their medical outcomes and their quality of life. And so we decided to train primary care providers to do a really good job in providing this care because there are not enough psychiatrists, there are not enough psychologists, not enough social workers. And so we wanted to make sure to train up people on the front line treating and addressing uh, behavioral health conditions. I joined TNT because of two reasons. The first being the mission, and the second that I love to teach. And as far as the mission, there is an incredible need to increase the workforce and decrease barriers to accessing care. And primary care is where it's going to be. I know how hard it is to get in to see a specialty provider because I am that specialty provider. And I hear the, the challenges that patients face. The majority of patients who get referred to specialty treatment don't actually go. When those who took uh, the training, it's a one-year fellowship training, um, gave it glowing reports and said, this is exactly what I need, it's a lifesaver. Um, this is helping so many patients in my practice, and not only that, but I'm able to help my fellow clinicians and even my office staff do better when we have people with severe, severe mental illness or any other kind of mental health concern come in the door to our clinic. I was a good doctor before, but I have more confidence and more ability to provide more of their care. Like I'm, I was really comfortable with every other specialty except for psychiatry was like this black box um, where I kind of knew some things about anxiety and depression not everything and now I feel like now that I can add in psychosis and bipolar and personality disorders even if they don't they're not seeing me for that diagnosis I can have a more effective interaction and take better care of their blood pressure or I can take better care of their diabetes fellows are really excited to learn more again they're trying to help the people that they're seeing every day live better lives um, they're trying to help kids and or you know families and or adults um, you know, not suffer as much from depression and anxiety and some of these other things that are going on. Um, that enthusiasm is wonderful and on the faculty side people are really excited to share whatever it is that they know and their expertise. I think one of the things that's important about the conference is that it's not only um, textually important but it's also practically important. So it's information that's good to know from just a reference standpoint but it's also something that you can take with you and use in your, in your everyday work and practice with patients. I initially did the TNT program because um, I had gone to the conference wanting to learn a little bit more, wanted to beef up my psychiatry skills, especially like med medication management and how to deal with um, personality disorders and things like that that a lot of my patients may have. 
And after I went to the conference, um, the teachers were so good, I knew that I had to do the fellowship. Yeah, I think what we're doing, um, and, I, and I hope we can increase the scale of what we're doing, uh, will be in part a solution to expanding access in behavioral health care, particularly in underserved areas. That's the goal. We want to change the way uh, care is delivered. 